the Alpha Legion, the Hydra, the 20th Legion. As one of the 20 founding legions, they have been in 40k for quite some time, debuting properly in Crodex Realms of Chaos. But they wouldn't get their familiar blue color scheme until Codex Chaos, as we can see here. Then the Grimdark came, and with it the colors of the Alpha Legion were changed, stripping them of their blue and green to become basically black, as we can see here from a codex from around 4th edition. This era marked the end of the Technicolor's 90s, bringing in a much darker color scheme across most armies. And of course, the Alpha Legion were no different. It's a strange look for them, not one I'm particularly fond of, but someday I may attempt to sort of make it better and see if I can do it on video. Then, around 5th to 6th edition, they began to return to their original blue colors, as we can see on these chosen here, and then their current metallic blue-green out of which we are attempting the former, blue and green scheme. Hello everybody, my name is Spoons Rattling. I'm currently stuck in a box of resin fire dragons, and welcome to another video. Today we are painting a classic Alpha Legion color scheme, based on their old appearance, and using some old Chaos Space Marines to do it. The first step is getting that blue down. I used McCrag Blue, which is a very strong, rich, and almost purpley blue color. It's a real favorite of mine now. Now, these old models are nostalgic and very fun, but they have some issues, as a lot of models of their age do. Their, thi their trim is quite thin compared to the chunky, thick outlines you find on Chaos Marines nowadays. But I find as the paint goes on, every detail starts to make more sense. Do your best to avoid the trim, but it's not a big deal if you get some blue on it. This McCrag blue applies really well in one coat, but I'd still give it two thin coats to let it be smoother. I did this on all five of the models. Now, I still haven't gotten more black paint, funnily enough. So I mixed gloss black with gray to get a dark color to rebase the trim on these models, and base a few other bits. Then, after the base coating comes the most time-consuming step aside from the base coating, and that is lining all the armor with a layer paint. In this case, being Citadel's Cabalite Green. At first, this seems very intimidating. Panel lining can be stressful at first glance, but I had a bit of an epiphany when painting these. That most things in paintings look infinitely harder than they actually are. <laughs> this is no different. Thin the paint and just run it along the trim. Being a layer paint makes this very forgiving as it will dry quite clear, giving a transition from blue to green that's very subtle but noticeable. I also found this section to be oddly relaxing and satisfying. Watch the green tie all the armor together very, very well. And since it's so forgiving, this is possibly the best practice for panel lining out there. Now, while past spoon paints, present spoons will give a small story. Old Chaos models mean a lot to me, as my older brother had them, his two armies being the Loyalist Dark Angels and the first among traitors of the Black Legion, were among the first models I ever saw, and what got me into Warhammer all the way back in around 2005 or so. Getting these feels very, very right, almost completing the circle. So expect more retro Alpha Legion and Chaos Space Marines in general in the future. In fact, I've got a rogue trader marine to paint in an even more exotic Alpha Legion color scheme that looks nothing like any color scheme today. Now, one more great tip I have for painting any Space Marine or model in general is to highlight the face. With Space Marines, this was easy enough but it really helps draw attention to it, and makes the face even more expressive of, what, of whatever it is, and it attracts the eye to it, starting with the mouth and then circling the eyes, and highlighting any edges on the helmet, like the base of the horns or any sharp edges on it. Here, with this green, it gives a very ghostly appearance, fitting for the Ghost Legion, also known as the Alpha Legion. Next, we have the staple of the Chaos Marines, their spikes and horns. For those that are more on the bone side of horns and spikes, I based them with brown, more specifically Rhinox Hide, as it applies great in one coat and is very rich in color.
there are many ways to finish these bones. My preferred way is to dry brush on a bone color, like a shabti bone, but I did that later. For now, on to the next step. I used the classic gunmetal color for the metallic bits and trim all over this model. That paint is of course Lead Belcher. Nice and smooth, and it applies with one coat, usually. I use this all over to paint the bolt guns, the nozzles, the horns, and, the, and of course the iconic trim the Treacher Marines have always had. Now this has been a concept on them since the beginning, but with these earlier plastic models it isn't too greatly defined. Though with enough paint down it can be rather easy. Just take your time to paint the trim. McCrag blue should make any issues easier to fix up, and then another layer of Cabalite green to finish any repairs you need to make. Now, while I finished the trim and other metallic bits, I'd recount a bit of a story with my experience of making this video, in relation to Warhammer's changing colors. Obviously, the late 80s and early 90s had extreme colors, but I never knew just how drastic the change was in the late 90s and early aughts. The Black Legion were a stark one, or the Alpha Legion, rather, were a stark one, obviously changing to black, but everyone else had a noted that tone down of color. Almost no one was spared. Those the early thousands changed to the late to and early tens, many color themes returned to their brighter roots, once again showing strong in the Alpha Legion returning almost entirely to their 90s schemes, before changing to their modern metallic teal we see from Games Workshop now. Now the next step involves finishing the, those bones. I started with Steel Legion Drab, a midpoint between brown and bone. Apply this by dry brush on the ridge bones and by brush on smooth ones. Though this step is sort of a good way to experiment. Use the browns and bones to make your own finish. And then we paint on the last details. I used Flesh Terror's Red as I still don't have any black paint for the bolt guns. This is the mostly finished result, showing how well it works and honestly does inspire those nostalgic vibes, at least for me. Now this is not actually the true original Alpha Legion color scheme, that is coming soon with an even older Chaos Space Marine. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.